Guys, we need to talk. Curiosity Public Style. I'm Dutch. Jules. Serious Dylan. Serious Dylan. Well, guys, uh, we've been wanting to have this conversation for a while, I think, because it's a conversation that we've had a lot, but we really need to talk. We need to talk to you guys and everybody out there, even people that don't watch our channel, which means we're not really talking to you because you won't watch this, but uh, we need to talk about bias. What is bias? I don't know what that is because I am not one. You're not, you're not one, one. <laughs> Biased. Oh, you're not biased. I thought you meant your, your name's not one. Well, for most... <laughs> <laughs> for most human beings, we are biased individuals, right? Inherently. Speak for yourself. I mean, instinctively. Instinctively, inherently biased. There are uh, unconscious biases and mm -hmm. there are conscious biases. Everybody has a little bit of both of them. And the reason we wanted to bring this up is because what, what we do here is we review a lot of whiskey. And also tequila and rum and other things. But as a reviewer, we are naturally subject to bias. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to talk a little bit about what that's like and also what we do to try to eliminate that bias. Now, Dylan doesn't need to because he's a, an, uh, a robot, so he can just turn off his bias chip and he's good to go. But Jules, you and I, we, you know, we actually came up with this system for Curiosity right. Public together, all, all three of us did, in, in large part to eliminate bias, right? Yeah. And there's a few ways why we, that we've done that. Let's talk about the first one, which is our scoring system. Which is probably the most controversial one. Well, I think... <laughs> Folks do not understand sometimes what the Curiosity Public Ultimate Charter. Yeah, ult Ultimate Spirits Competition even know what it's called. is the <laughs> is the journey, right? It's yes. the journey that yeah. we all go through in enjoying or sometimes not enjoying a spirit. Yeah. People in the comments sometimes talk about value and there's an argument about value. Value is actually quite important for us because we purchase the bottles. Right. And that is part of the experience. This is. is not something where, you know, something is given to us. If we can't find it, we can't find it. We can't purchase yeah. it. If we have to pay secondary prices in those rare instances, we pay for it and we complain about it and right. we dock points from it. That is actually quite important to us. It is, but the, the entire process of breaking down the tasting experience the way we do, I think in, it does help eliminate some of the biases you may have. Because I think, Dylan, this came from a question you used to ask. Yeah. Uh, if, if we tried something like, oh, I like this, you would always be like, why? Tell me why. What do you like? What aspect of the tasting experience did you enjoy? Is it the flavor? Is it the mouthfeel? You know, and this is why yeah. we kind of broke everything down into these categories that we use, because that's the tasting experience. That's how we break it down. That's how we kind of keep ourselves honest. And I think a second part of that that's inherent to our channel here is that we also have the three of us. Right. <laughs> and we, we argue. We argue. We argue. Oftentimes I will bring up very clearly the biases sometimes yeah. that I sometimes see. And, and you know, yeah. Dylan's a stag fanboy. Jules is a Makers fanboy. <laughs> I'm a bit of a Woodford fanboy, as you can tell from what we chose True. to sip on. And if we kind of are out of whack on scoring one of these, the others will call it out. Yeah, right. we call it out. And I will call it out every single time. No, you do not call. I call it out. I'm pretty much <laughs> no. the market correction on this panel. That's it. I mean, I just call them <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. The <laughs> like, what? There's, no, there's a guy in the there's middle. There's air moving. <laughs> there's two other people here. But that is one of the ways we combat it. It's yeah. our scoring system exactly. and it's our panel. Those are two, I think, of the most important things. The next one I want to get to is maybe the biggest topic that we wanted to talk about here. And Dylan, you alluded it to a second ago. Every single thing you've seen on the counter here, except in a couple of live streams maybe, has been a bottle that we have bought ourselves. One of us bought it, we found it, we paid our money for it, we brought it here to set to review it. And that is something that we stand by almost to our detriment because yeah. we've had opportunities from yeah. brands coming to us saying, we would love for you guys to put our product on your table. Right. And every single time we just say, I really want to. <laughs> but no. Yeah, like, come on, guys. And that's been a this hard no a, a couple one. of times. I mean, like, it's a difficult thing a to say. A lot of yeah, hard all these, like, right rare now. stuff yeah. that we can never, ever find. <sighs> a lot of uh, hard But notes. then I don't think it would provide any service, to be honest. Right. right. Well, let's talk a little bit about why but they do that. Because of that, yeah. Exactly. Like, why do people the give market free samples? influence. Right. Exactly. Like it's like Costco. marketing 101. Yeah. Like, it, it, it works every time, and that's why brands do it. Yeah. The reason they give you free things is because it's going to influence you. 
Exactly. And then they're hoping that you will then influence Become others. an influencer, and then you hold the bottle like this in right. an action pose. Yeah, he's like, Or looking into the distance. Thank you, Woodford, for sending me this awesome bottle. I haven't opened or tried yet, but it's awesome, and you should go buy it. Or you look at camera B, and you do a straight talk <laughs> with Mr. Dylan yeah. here. Now, I'm going to be always looking into the distance, and, and yeah. like... PhD, PhD, PhD. <laughs> <laughs> Right, but this is, I think, in a lot of ways, and, and you know, for YouTube, not as big of a problem. It, it does exist on YouTube, but a bigger problem on on Instagram. Mm. And I think I've said this before: that if you're getting your whiskey information on Instagram, <laughs> or if it's influencing you on what to buy, you need to have a serious conversation with yourself, maybe, about why you're doing that. Instagram is rife with people that just want to pose with a bottle. Well, and half they, of them aren't even actual people. I mean, it's going to be bots and all yeah, this. Instagram, it's all automated. I mean, right? like. So, well, the, <sighs> The Tiki Talks, the the MySpaces, <laughs> wow, know, MySpace, uh, AOL, uh, GeoCities, GeoCities, <laughs> Main Street. I mean, all of these places, they give bottles, and you're almost obligated, right? Yeah. Um, you become uh, well. It's one of those where, like, if you are given a free bottle, are you really going to be that critical of it? You can't. Exactly. I mean, you. Yeah. I mean, like, because if, if we you're going to want to keep getting that free. No, bottle, look, right? if right? if we, even if we had like, let's say, um, Conor McGregor here. Like, if, if he was a guest. He'd kick our ass if we didn't say it was good. Yeah, obviously, it. right? I mean, I, you know, you'd have to give it 100, right? We'd have to take avengement. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, you can beat me up, just don't, like, mess with my ears. Man. I mean, like, I've always joked that, ears, you know, dude. like, if Kendall Jenner came on and, um, you know, she wanted me to review the 818, you know, I'd give it 100. Kendall Probably. Jenner? Yeah. Come Anytime. on. Yeah. <laughs> And that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Right. And that's part of the problem. I mean, yeah. that's the other aspect of it is, you know, if you're literally sitting next to somebody that made this product or attached their name to the product, it's kind of hard to ask the hard questions, right? Yeah. It's kind of hard to be critical. Or not even that. It's just like, how are you even going to, like, what are you going to actually say? You know, right. Well, like, I mean, what do you again, actually give a legit review? Again, you also have to be, uh, I don't know, a good host. Right. And you're obligated to not be, you know, critical or... or to be mean in front of that person. But the, again, that's why marketing works. That's why the brand ambassadors who go out there are the way they are. It's why if a brand says, hey, we'd love to be featured on your channel. Oh, I'd love to come on do a live stream with you. It's marketing for them. And if you end up hosting them, you become a part of that. Now, it's not always a bad thing to do. I know many of the other channels out there will do that. I'm not being critical of it. I'm just saying that it's it hard is, to remain unbiased, and that's the thing. It, it's, it's already impossible to remain unbiased, and that doesn't help. It right. makes it harder. And I think that's all we're saying. Well, so I, I'm hoping that we're not – we don't hate the industry. Obviously, no. we appreciate what they're putting no. out. But my hope is that the industry will sympathize and understand what we're doing, right? They understand. I that, hope they understand. And I think that's what it comes down to. If you think about like magazines, like think about like Motor Trend. Mm. Right, a brand can pay to be featured in there. You think about even like Whiskey Advocate, brands pay of course all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jack Daniels pays the most money to have their ads mm -hmm. everywhere. Happened to be the best whiskey in the world according to Whiskey Advocate last year. Who knows? Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. But then you have Consumers Reports. Yeah, they don't take anything. They buy everything themselves. Yeah. So I think if you want to think of us, is we're not the flashy. Think of think of some <laughs> of the consumer We're not whiskey report. advocate. Well, we're think consumer of, Think reports. of some of the. Um, no, I, we're really pigeonholing maybe, ourselves. Maybe we're more like uh, <laughs> Better Business Bureau. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's even Sometimes worse, more, dude. People get paid off on that. Uh, what about what about like um, the competitions? Right. Spirits competitions, yeah. Yeah, because... Pay you know, to play. Yeah, pay to play. I remember one where... Well, that's a different gripe. Well, here's something interesting like, thing about that. Yeah, there's like, what, what's triple gold mean? And, and also... <laughs> like, you come know on, people, everything's gold then. You know what it is? There's anonymity there. Yeah. You know, they, oh, sure, they share yeah, who their, all their judges are, right. but you have no idea who scored what what. Well, that and I Yeah, I mean, you can have, have three... I don't even know what their palette is, right? It's like, right. is it something that aligns with my own, so can I trust their judgment? It's like, it's almost like too much noise. Right. <laughs> they could they could send their own judge from their own uh, from right, their own from company. Seriously, and they well, go, be a part of that panel. I, I could. There are people I know that are on that. Yeah, that we I know, know have some biases going in, <laughs> and that doesn't mean they're bad people. It doesn't mean that they have bad palates. It's just that they have their own biases, and they've been very clear about some of those. So you can't avoid it. And I think it's all about what can you do to try to mitigate it. Yeah. And I think we do a lot. There's a final topic here that I'd like to talk about, which is blind tastings. Which people say mm. that's really the only way to be unbiased. Wrong. Wrong. How is that right? That is wrong. Absolutely wrong. I don't know what else to say. Well, tell us more. <laughs> Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? I mean, I can say other... 
other adjectives? Yeah, but that's not how things work. Here's why it's wrong. It's because, you know, since you can't drink two different things at the same time, you're going to have an inherent bias towards one. Right. Seriously, on the blinds. No, that's actually right. true. I mean, it literally... Psychological... Like, yeah. um, uh, one of those key things, which is like why it's always for, best to go first. First, exactly. That always has a stronger impression on your senses than the second thing you have. Mm-hmm. But but even with blinds, like even if you're not talking about a head-to-head, okay, in a vacuum, if somebody served you something completely blind, I could see some value in that. But it's also, it's just unrealistic. Yeah. Nobody drinks whiskey like that. Yeah. So is it really providing you with the information you'd want if you go to a bar? If you go to the bar and you're like, hey, bartender... I'm not going to look at the bar, pour me something, and I'm going to take my glass and go in the bathroom and drink it and pretend I don't know what's going on. It just doesn't make any sense. Nobody well, again, drinks like that. Again, That's not the experience. The experience in blinds is a relative analysis, right? A blind head to head. I'm not ta- I'm talking about if somebody just serves but one thing in a vacuum. Something, one thing in a, yeah, in a vacuum. That, I could You're see not... some value in that. Maybe, but what scenario would that be a great experience? I agree. I mean, like, huh. again, the journey in our spirits competition it's there because we want to enjoy life and to me that that journey the the process there is my enjoyment right. and i mean there there are people out there that's going to look at this and say this is this is overly complex this you know perseverates on minutia i am not this you know i want to be like jules whereas like i like it or i don't either lemonade or whatever this brown thing is pink lemonade i mean like it's dude. straightforward Jeez. i'm not saying that's wrong Okay, this is not, not this is not a derogatory statement. But some people like me where I'm like, I'm look, I, I'm done with all of this stuff. I just need to, you know, go and go in depth. And so that's what we're trying to share. But, you know, we we want to make sure that we do it right. I do take this seriously because this is my <laughs> this is how I categorize things for myself. It's for your so, mind palace. Yeah. Yeah, and I think also we shouldn't I mean, I don't think people should get the impression that we think ill of anybody that no. does any of the things we were talking about here. I think it's more an explanation of where we're coming at this from, what we are trying to do with our channel. It'd be like... I love know, Buffalo Trace. It'd be like Sus- Siskel and Ebert producing their own movie. Or, or like, I'm best friends with Quentin Tarantino, and I review his movie, and I say it's amazing. Oh, are you mean. really going to believe me? Yeah, because they're pretty amazing. <laughs> they are. Bad example. <laughs> George Lucas. But, yeah. No, no, no. no. It's, like, it's like, if, if Buffalo Trace... I love Buffalo Trace... If Buffalo Chase came and gave me a free bottle of George T. Stag. Yeah, would right? you take it, Dylan? Yeah. Yes, he would. I would absolutely yes, take would. it. I would absolutely take <laughs> but it. We but we wouldn't review it. We exactly. would not review it because I would give it a hundred. Right. Two hundred, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> According to his own scale. Jules' scale, like it give anything happens. Make it up every time, basically. But I know <laughs> that's not that's not being honest. Um, I know that it doesn't matter what it is, co- conscious or subconscious, there's definitely bias there. And we're trying to remove that as best we can. Right. I think it's just. I think the overall summary is minimize hypocrisy. That's that's that's, that's the rule I live by. Yeah, so minimize the, hypocrisy. The Cliff Notes thing is: what do we do to do that? We don't accept free things. We have a panel. We we try to keep each other in check. We break the analysis down into its right. component parts so that we are showing you all of the cards. We're not telling you this is great. Right. Go buy it. We're showing you this is great. Go buy it. And here are all the reasons why we think it is great or bad. And then we show you the process of calling each other out. Yeah. So yeah. we give the initial score and then we have the final score, right? Yeah. Some people ask, why do you do that? Well, we want to call each other out and, and you know, explain the BS yeah. that sometimes comes And I actually out. love it when our viewers call us out. Yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah. Sometimes yeah. things Everyone have been keeps... pointing out, pointed out to us that we no. didn't even think about. Like, wow, yeah. you know what? That's a you great point on honest. this or that. So, guys, this has been a long-winded way of us saying that we needed to talk about bias and that you should, as a consumer, be aware of it. I think that's all we really wanted to focus on here. Uh, ultimately, if you find somebody whose palate aligns with yours and you want to rely on them for your uh, your resources in whiskey or tequila or whatever it is, that's great. You're going to get very far with that. But keep in the back of your mind this, this concept of bias and how it can affect everything. And, and let us know what you guys think. Are we way off base here? Are we overly trying to correct for something that we can't correct for anyway? Are we off our rockers? Yes. Do you guys like this kind of content? Do you want yeah. to see more discussion videos? Let us know. Jules. You want to see more uh, Dylan bullying me and Dutch around? Like, watch every episode. Yeah. Like I mean, bullying. but then, again, <laughs> some people might want to stay in the Matrix. Right? Ignorance is bliss. Indeed I want to get is. plugged back in. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> is it he who increases knowledge, increases sorrow? 
All right, Jules, take it out. (laughs) On that dour note, Shakespeare over here. (laughs) Tell us what you think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, let us know what you feel about uh, bias and reviews. And as always, you can help us out by joining Curiosity Private, which is a program here on YouTube and on Patreon. (laughs) Membership program. (laughs) Since we had a discussion on that. Uh, T-shirts is another great way. Um... We're not selling. Oh, we're selling oh, that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, we are selling for freedom. This one. Right. <laughs> uh, links will be in the description, and we have a podcast on the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, stay curious. times nice. where I wish I could plug back in. Me too. Or I could just be ignorant about whiskey or tequila. And be yeah, like, I know. Then you would enjoy Casa Azul. Well, Which no, I do. I wouldn't spend yeah. so much ridiculous amount of time trying to find these things and like worrying about oh, we're going to get this in. Or, hey, Buffalo Trace, if you send me That's what this real pitch yeah, is for. 100 bottles of George C. Stag, I will leave this panel. He, would, he totally would. Dylan can and be. And then I'll, I'll just become like Instagram, whatever. How is that going to help them, though? <laughs> I mean, that is not oh, you're going to become all, Insta, Dylan. Instagram Dylan? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everywhere I go, I'll just have, like uh, LeBron, right? Everywhere he goes, he he holds the, oh, the, Lobos. the Lobos. And then like The Rock is doing the same thing. Like you see every single video he's holding uh, Terramana. So right? unbi- unbiased review, what do you think of that stag 18? It's good. I mean, it has a lot of uh, cherry. But I feel like the finish... It's tannic, dude. Uh-huh. I thought it was tannic. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Got it. You can't unbias that. See? <laughs> exactly. Mm. Dodge this. Dodge this. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. I don't know. I think it's delicious. I didn't say whether it was delicious or not. Yeah, I guess so. Right at the end? Yeah. A little bit?